Woohoo! It's Friday. Happy Friday. I'm Sandy, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in beautiful and nice and toasty today, Canada. Woohoo! So, <laughs> I have a sneak peek for you today, and it's pretty awesome. Very awesome. Do, 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 do. Yep. So, I hope you're all well. Hope you're uh, looking forward to the weekend. I know it's a long weekend in the uh, in the states, so that's kind of cool. And uh, let's just get this a little more even. Sorry, I moved you. <laughs> I do want to say um, to the YouTube viewers, thank you so much um, for watching. Um, I'm noticing that uh, I have more subscribers, so yay! Definitely subscribe on YouTube, and definitely come on over to my Facebook page if you want to see. The videos live where you can interact with me and my friends so welcome everyone welcome welcome oh just checking my uh yep that looks good this is what we're using today Ooh, it's a sneak peek out of the new and upcoming annual catalog it goes live on june the third hey lee welcome welcome oh you just got the whole suite i have everything but the little wood elements. So I'll show everything else. I'll show everything else that I have. So this is, this weed itself, by the way, is called In Good Taste. Okay. And um, you can purchase it now. You can't, well, you can't purchase it now, but you can get it now if you sign up as a demonstrator. And we'll talk about that later. Okay, so here's the Tasteful Touches stamp set, and it's part of a bundle. So if you didn't want the entire suite, you can buy it as a bundle. If you don't want the bundle, you can buy the stamp set, but you're going to want these dies for sure. Okay, so here's the stamp set, and it's got some really great ele elements to it. And I think what you'll notice about this uh, stamp set and the entire suite is texture, texture, texture. And it's wonderful. So I've been playing around with a bunch of the items. And then I decided what the card would look like. So um, it, it, it's, it is nice. I love this. So, and you know me. If it looks like handwriting, and that's actually nicer than mine. And, and in some cases, they use two fonts. Oh, you got me. I love the dies too, Lee. They are absolutely a must-have. Definitely. So we've got a little flower here. Now I have to honestly say, the first thing I looked at was the paper um, in the pre-order. And I thought, well, this is, this is one masculine set. Then I realized it's everything. So you have, like I said, you have your textures, leaves, feathers, great fonts, great sentiments. You are so special. I just gave away a card that had that on yesterday, so it's on my blog, but I don't actually have the card sample to show you because I, I, it was a birthday, a late birthday present for a friend. Anyway, really, really cute. And it's fo it's um, the red rubber. Some of them are out because I'm preparing more goodies. So here's the dies, and I will try to hold them up without moving them too much. There's stitching, there's extra lines on them. They are great. So the one we're using today is this one. And, like, seriously. One thing, I'm, 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 and I'm actually going to die cut today with you, because I want to show you a tip. So for now, I'll just set it right there. Okay, more. What? More? Okay, so here's the <laughs> embossing folder. And... What's the name of the embossing folder? Oh, Tasteful Textile. And honestly, it does look like textile. And it's, it's, oh, this is, this is my everything. You know how, well, and we still have it. You know how the subtle folder was, well, let's just say it, subtle, which was lovely. This is also subtle, but it is also um, beautifully textured. And I will show you a piece of that right now, what it looks like. So I'm going to hold it as steady as I can, because this doesn't have the glare on it. So if you're just joining me, say hi, say where you're from. And this is a sneak peek of the In Good Taste Suite. So I don't know. Can you see the texture on that? To me, the feel of this is, um, it feels like watercolor paper. It isn't. It isn't. This is plain whisper white paper. But... It's, it's, the texture is 
beyond beyond gorgeous absolutely love it so oh i think you can i just finally finally the computer caught up now i can see that you can see you can see that excellent uh what else have we got for you oh well how about i show you the paper this is a lot of paper i'm showing you 12 of the, the sheets because there are 24 in the package and so you get two of each design so we'll do it this way that you see one of each design and of course the back as well so you get where i'm going with i thought this looked very masculine yeah hey louise welcome taking a break from weeding hey if you run out of um stuff to do my lawn needs weeding really bad i really dislike that i will i will cut the grass but i don't like weeding at all okay so here's one of the sheets and I will just oh yeah, set them off to the side. This looks like fabric, like like it, it looks like it's textured. It does. Oh yeah, and I have to not move this because it makes the screen go wonky. So sorry about that. Look at how dark and delicious that is. Like wow, gorgeous, gorgeous. This one has a kind of almost pink tones to it to my eyes, which is pretty cool. I love I love everything wood grain everything i love textures this is a concrete look not only is it beautiful if you photograph your cards it makes a lovely backdrop <laughs> but it's going to be beautiful cards and not only cards you can use this of course for scrapbooking what oh let's just see louise says i believe that paper is in the box it just arrived on your porch no way woot <laughs> awesome and you have ooh ten thousand squares see you next year okay that's a promise i got you on that one see you prom you promise next year okay um more wood grain and like wow i'm not sure if this reminds me of a sweater um of kind of bumpy fabric um coat fabric i'm not really sure but it is so cool now this, I know, I'm not really sure what it's called, so I'm calling it, it looks stippled. I, I'm, I'm a crafty gal, not a, not a fix-it gal, so it's what it looks like to me, and I just see some awesome backgrounds happening here. And again, looks very, very textured, so it looks like it would be bumpy, but it isn't. And another one with a really great background. Um, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess that that's the new blue. Midnight Madness? I think so. This one has a bit of the yellows and maybe a little bit of orangish in, in the wood grain. So again, more possibilities. Again, looks like fabric, looks like something you might see on a couch, but ooh, you know, lovely. Oh, and more. So we've gone all the way from really dark looking wood to medium to light. I would love that for flooring. All right, so flipping them over very carefully, lining them all up again to make a big mess. And we'll go this way. Oh, I don't know which direction they go. Looks like a looks like well, looks like a looks like a backsplash actually. And again, looks very very textured, very very. So obviously these are twelve by twelve sheets. Gorgeous tiles. Woohoo! So I believe, I don't know if they said this, these were photorealistic or actual photos. I think, I think they indicated they were actual photos. More gorgeous texture. And hello, beautiful. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, 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 I like. I like that a lot. I hope you like these too, because these are like, oh my goodness, beautiful. This almost, it looks like tiles, and, it's, and it almost looks like it's shiny through here. It isn't, but it looks it. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. I can see that. I see that as a, definitely a backdrop for a card. Like, well, obviously. <laughs> I'm a card maker. Hey, did I have that turned on the wrong side? I think that might be one of the same. Or maybe not. No, maybe that's just more. I think it's darker than the other... Um, concrete looking piece now this one i love reminds me of is it delf blue i'm not sure i'm saying that right but yeah 
gorgeous and more stippled look I cannot wait I cannot wait to use these you know what Lee I totally or yeah Lee I totally agree that there are lots of possibilities with these beautiful looking bricks and then another favorite here oh you know what Louise I just say I'm making something I am cutting it you know you can do the love it chop it from uh, Kylie Bertucci you can you can do that just sometimes when I want to do like scrappy strips or whatever then that doesn't work I'm just going to show you the color or read if I can read the small print okay it goes with basic gray early espresso gray granite night and navy petal pink rococo rose smoky slate very vanilla and of course whisper white so how about we make a card yes all right so scrap believe it or not that is scrap okay we're going to do the sentiment and we're going to do some floral images so here's the sentiment i am going to die cut it so i'm not going to be concerned that it's you know upside down backwards whatever and i am using gray granite now i have to tell you <laughs> About seven minutes before I started the video, I realized that what I had pre-cut was in the wrong colors. So it doesn't matter if it's upside down. I have to keep telling myself that. All right, on we go. Don't rock, don't rock. Well, you know what? Hoard your paper, but try to use it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the good things in life are better with you. Aww. So we are going to die cut that, but first, while we're inking, let's just ink. Let's just find where we put our piece. Oh, it's off to the side. Here it is. Alrighty. So remember I said we're going to, well, I don't think I said this. We're actually going to stamp right on top of this. Now, sometimes people stamp and then uh, emboss, but, you know, I'm a rebel. I'm doing it the other way. So again, with the gray granite, which is why it's still open. Alrighty. And I have to think about this. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So that's about there. <laughs> about. So with this, it's going to be interesting. Be kind of like um, stamping on um, paper towel, but not different absorbency. I like the look of it looks like it's it's not solid that that is just like that is me all the way all the way and then up here and i'm not going to worry about these because i'm gonna be covered up uh sometimes you just have to do it just be a nike commercial and just do it cut your paper yeah Oh, you know what? Let's do the inside while we're here. Oh, no, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Yes, I can. And I want to keep it simple. Okay, so the same leaves are going to be right here. I don't, I'm I'm like, well, I, I say this a lot. I'm the less is, less is more kind of gal. Lots of room to write. Alrighty, off you go, and off you go. Nope, come back. <laughs> we're not done. I will close this one because we're done with gray granite. And look at this old style melon mumbo. So we are stamping on gray granite, and it's going to be the uh, the floral image. So this is the piece I did in the wrong color. <laughs> Lay oops. Yeah, bad Sandy, bad Sandy. At least I noticed. I mean, it would have been okay, but there. And I want to give that a moment or two to kind of dry. So while that dries, while that dries, I'm going to finish fussy cutting. This is when it hit two o'clock and I'm like, nope, stop. So yeah, there isn't a die for this, but the fussy cut... Well, I'm getting better at fussy cutting, you know. It's still, it's still kind of, yeah, not totally my thing. But what I had to say to myself is hold your scissors and don't move them. Because that's what I do. 
I'm like er, er, moving the scissors. Nope, if I hold my, my hand in one spot, well, I'm gonna try and move the paper. This does, I do this better with a magnifying glass. Yes, I have one that hangs around my neck. Does that make me sound like, no, it's not an age thing, it's an eye thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's my story. Now, if you, if you do fussy cut, like I said, <laughs> and there I am moving the scissors, eek, eek. So, how oh, pretty. I'll show you in a moment, once, once I get around this. So yeah, it took me seven minutes to find the paper, stamp the images, fussy cut one and a half. <laughs> yeah, alrighty. So there they are there. And I'm gonna bring this back in because we're gonna paint a little bit. And yes, this is Wink Estella. My lights are good. It looks a little bit dark in some areas. So we are going to, because I had this totally done, but yes, of course. So when you are, when you're using Wink Estella on this kind of ink, it's not um, memento, which will stay put. Um, you need to move quickly and don't go over the same area too much because it will, but you will drag the color into the rest of it. Now, if that's what you want, go for it. So, just working quickly. I did give the um, the ballast, like the little storage thingy, a bit of a bit of a push. So there's lots coming out. And I did try this without on my original card without using the Wink Estella. And it just it just it needed that sparkle. Because I'm, this is a plain and simple, quite easy card to do. I just want to make sure I've got everything. So to see that, now tell me if you can see the, the sparkle on that. I hope so. Oh, doing this with one eye. I might have to do that. Yeah, apparently I have a little cataract starting myself. So lovely. So... But it is it is the reason why I use my magnifying glass. Um, and well, I need new reading glasses and ah, darn it, you know. Oh, darn it. Getting older eyes are annoying. <laughs> Very annoying. And it's too bad back when I had laser eye surgery that the technology wasn't there to fix um, nearsightedness and farsightedness. Because that would have been awesome. I can't remember if I did the center on that flower. I did. There we go. So now I do want to show you one other thing. I'm gonna let those dry for a moment. It doesn't take long. So my first thought, and I'll bring this back in. My first thought was to do them in white, but then it was so stark and I went, yeah. And then showing you what happened. Now granted, don't count this area because it went, my, my Wink Estella went whoop. <laughs> at that point so um you can see how the color does bleed now if that's what you're looking for if that's a look you're you you want absolutely go for it but um this i can use on a different card this one i i blipped too much let's do some die cutting before we well obviously before we assemble because we can't carry on without it Alrighty. i know i don't normally do this because space is very limited here on my desk and the camera's quite low so I don't know how much of this you'll actually get to see. I best be moving a few things. <laughs> it's a little too high in areas. Okay, so here's the die. And here's the tip. Yeah, my, Louise, my mom used to say, grown old ain't for sissies. And I love that. It is a privilege. Okay, so when, you, when you're die cutting, do not put it through the machine this direction. That is way too much surface for this. Instead, you're going to go lengthwise. Now, if you can, I need to flip this. Look at that poor thing. Might be time for a replacement. There we go. A much better, much better hold. If you're doing a square, then you do it from the point. Okay. One of the, nope, got to find, you have to find the magnets. Now, if it doesn't stay put 
and let's say you're I don't know let's pretend we're in a hurry these days we're not really in a hurry then I definitely want to I would be getting out the uh, washi tape to make it stay put to help it it is a magnetic base all right here goes like I said I don't know how much you can actually see but I wanted to show you that tip so there we go and you know what this does this makes a perfect um, little place where you, if you let's say you were to want to do some sponging it's a template that's what it is sometimes words escape me but eventually they come back all right I don't want it to fall off my desk so give me a moment oh now here's another tip when it gets stuck to your plate give your plate a little bit of a twist it will come off it's not too heavy-handed mind you there we go let's assemble it is time so the base of my card is gray granite. Oh, surprise. Don't fight the magnet. You will not win. You are so right, Louise. That is so cute. But don't be chasing it around. All right. So I have cut the paper to four and a quarter by 11, and it's scored at five and a half. This piece, our earlier piece, this one is four and one eighth by five and three eighths and some glue would be handy here we go oh another glue buggy un momento there we go all righty you can I can actually hear the texture when I do this <laughs> which is pretty cool like I said I love texture it's kind of part and parcel of being um doing multi multi multimedia as well that's a pretty thin border so the trick to this is get this and this and this at the same width and it will fall perfectly doesn't always work that way but hey i'm always happy when it does all right we're going to need some dimensionals for this like i said it's a very simple card but it's it's actually pretty elegant too i was thinking what side am i putting this on well okay not the side with the words. Alrighty. Now you can use your take your pick tool, or right now you can use your fingernails, which is what I've chosen. Alrighty, so this will go. Let me just think about this for a moment. Okay. Kind of there. It's kind of there. I want to make sure you can see both. That's my plan. That's my plan, Stan. Alrighty, so I'm just going to go about here. About. Now, had I die cut this first, I would have been able to go mm, maybe a little bit higher, maybe a, bit, a little bit lower, you know? So just kind of plan it out. And then just deciding. I don't want them both popped up. I find that to be too much. And I really feel like I want to pop this one up. So go with, go with your gut. That's what I say. Go with your gut. I do thank you for being here. I know it's beautiful outside and you would probably just love to be out there. So, all right. So what I did is I avoided the area that's going to hang over here. There and just to the edge. Ooh, perfect. Practically perfect. And then this one, a little bit of glue, doesn't take a lot. This one, now I do. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh want them i'm covering up an awful lot of that today i'll show you on the original apparently i planned better there we go that is your card for the day now like i said you you can get this now in your starter kit you can't purchase it now if you're not a not a demonstrator so this one i planned out a little bit higher um i like them both though very much and that's what i like about card making is that i i don't want to see I'm not an assembly line. I'm not Hallmark, you know. Anyway, so the suite itself, the entire suite with the little wood things you can't see right now because I don't have them, is $115 and can be added to your start kit. And you will still have another $49.50 to choose in products. Yep, so it's $135 and you get $165 in um, product 
Plus, in mo most provinces, there is no shipping. No, like, there's no shipping, period. That's all provinces. There's no tax in most provinces. That's really awesome. A huge savings. A huge savings. Plus, of course, you get to join my mixed stampers. Plus, of course, um, you'll get the benefits that we get, which is we start at a 20% discount on every order after the starter kit. Wahoo! You also get a paper pumpkin kit, which means you need to click that little radio button that says, do you want the business kit? The answer is yes, you do. Nod your head. Yes, you do. You don't have to be um, an active demonstrator. You don't have to do videos. You don't have to have parties. Nope. You can be a happy shopper. There you go. So I will put the links up in the comments, or if you're watching on YouTube, down in the comments. Um... That will be the link to my shop, link to the Facebook post that goes with this. So you can read about, read more. And there's there's still photos and such. And um, to join, you can join. Um, I'll put that link here. If you want to read more, that link will be on my blog as well. Ah, cool. Thank you so much for joining me. I have more sneak peeks for you on Tuesday, coming up at 2 p.m. as well. And if you would be ever so kind as to share my video, that helps my little business. Uh, YouTube, share my video, please. Subscribe, please. And don't forget to shop. So I will see you. Thank you so much again. And bye-bye.